It's the end of August, and I'm at a wedding at Annunciation Byzantine Catholic Church in Homer Glen, Illinois. The couple wearing crowns is being led around the tetrapod three times by the priest, who holds a handheld cross up ahead, while the cantor sings a hauntingly beautiful hymn. Rejoice, O Isaiah, the Virgin is with child, and shall bear a son, Emmanuel, who is both God and man, and Orient is his name whom magnifying we call the Virgin Blessed. And thus the man and woman take their first walk as a married couple with their eyes fixed on the cross of Christ. The makeup of this particular couple is not uncommon in Eastern Catholic churches across North America. The groom was born and raised Eastern Catholic and the bride was not, embracing the Eastern Catholic Church through marriage. Full disclosure, marriage led me to the Christian East as well. But marriage isn't the only way Eastern Catholic churches are growing in membership in North America. Increasingly, these churches are welcoming people who come by winding paths, the culmination of a spiritual search, people who were neither born into these faith traditions nor belong to the cultural groups at the origins of these churches. My assignment as a journalist led me to speak with pastors and faithful from different Eastern Catholic churches in North America, namely the Maronite, Melkite, Ruthenian, Byzantine, and Ukrainian churches, and to discuss with them this growing trend in recent decades. I spoke with Dr. Pascal Bastien in Ottawa, Canada. He was raised Roman Catholic in a French-Canadian family and was drawn to the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church by the beauty he found in its liturgy. He and his wife Amy had their children baptized in the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, and he proceeded to change his church of ascription to the Ukrainian church too. While his wife retains her membership in the evangelical church in which she was raised, she attends Sunday liturgy with her husband and children at the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Shrine of St. John the Baptist, where non-Ukrainians make up almost half of the congregation. Father Thomas Loya, pastor of Annunciation Church in Homer Glen, shares his perspective on the new growth in membership in the Eastern churches. A lot of people today are looking for what they see as tradition or stability, things that are faithful to the church teaching, faithful to good liturgy. And so they're, where they're not finding it in their own churches, have found the Eastern churches. But also there's a lot of unchurched people who are coming. The human heart still yearns for that, and people will seek it, and they look for it, and they are finding it in the Eastern Catholic churches at this time. It's not to say that we're better than other churches. It's just that what our particular riches right now seem to be serving a specific need right now at this time. And I think this is part of the answer and the reason for the growth that we're experiencing. The limitations imposed by the print medium meant not all of the people I interviewed made it into my final piece. One of these people is Father Robert Pipta, rector of the Byzantine Catholic Seminary of Saints Cyril and Methodius in Pittsburgh, who says this new demographic is reflected at the seminary as well. Of the nine seminarians who were to start the new academic year in 2022, only two were raised Eastern Catholic. Father Robert Pipta. This particular grouping of seminarians primarily are those who were Roman Catholic and have come into an Eastern Catholic Church. And then we have those who converted to Catholicism from a Protestant denomination. And then there are those who, as adults, embraced Christianity and did so in an Eastern Catholic Church. But these people were not raised in the Byzantine Christian tradition. And then there are those who converted to Catholicism from an Eastern Orthodox church. There's without question going to be a fervor that is brought to the church through the adult decision and the, this, usually the very mature, spiritually guided decision that is made for the church. That in and of itself is enriching. Read more about the growth of new membership in the Eastern Catholic churches in North America in the September issue of One.